fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Soto Kamen Rider Geats ID3. So this is our third Soto set for Geats. If we go ahead and open this up, we can take a look at the case breakdown here. And there are 12 individual boxes, but for whatever reason they give us 14. I don't know why they don't just do the set of 12, but you do get an extra set of Nago with the Beat Raise Buckle. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the individual boxes here. So up first we have Geet's Fever Magnum Form. And then up next we have Nago using the Beat Raise Buckle. So Nago Beat Form. Now this is obviously with her using a beat on the top half. And then we have an extra of that, which I'm going to leave in the box. And then we have Nago using Beat on the lower half. And I got to tell you, I am not looking forward to the stickers on Nago's helmet because there are quite a lot of them. Up next, we have Punk Jack Monster Form. And this is Monster on the top half. And then we have Punk Jack with Monster on the bottom half. A lot of sticker combination possibilities there. And then these last two boxes, you kind of have a couple options here. So this is going to be an entry form, and then you get a bunch of different helmets. So you can do an entry form for Depan, you can do an entry form for Punk Jack. I'll probably go with the entry form for Depan, uh, knowing that I can just switch out the head if I want to. I probably won't put a sticker on the driver, but we'll see how it goes. So those are the 12 individual boxes here, so you should be able to make uh, six figures by the time we're done. So I'm going to go ahead, get started on this, and then we'll take a closer look. Here is Soto Geats ID3 fully stickered and assembled. We will start over here on the left with Geats Fever Magnum. So this is Geats using the Fever Slot Raise Buckle so that he has Magnum on both the top and the bottom at the same time. And you can see that they have given him the gold scarf. Now he still has the regular scarf as well. So he's got dual scarf action there. Uh, but it looks really cool. He has the nice gold eyes. Otherwise, it's very similar to the Magnum uh, top and bottom that we've gotten previously. But it looks pretty good. It's a nice mixture of paint and stickers. Uh, the stickers over here all on the side and thigh uh, right here on this. The rest of this is actually painted white. And then you have to put a couple black stickers on there to kind of fill in the gaps. All the orange on the shoulders are stickers. The chest is fully painted. Uh, this sticker here wraps around the side. Everything gold is fully painted, which is nice. You have one little sticker here on the scarf. Stickers for the belt and the driver, of course. But yeah, it's a really nice figure. I think it came out really good. Uh, standard Soto articulation. You have a ball joint for the head, so he can look pretty far up. Look down a little bit. Tilt side to side. Certainly look side to side. Uh, the way these shoulders are done, it's just kind of like a long peg that sits in this channel, and that's to give him a butterfly joint. So you pop that in and then you can kind of move it forward and back. Of course you have a hinge as well and a full rotation. You have a bicep swivel 90 degrees in the elbow. Uh, you have a nice amount of rotation here in the wrist. It's on a ball joint so if you kind of pull it out a little bit you can get a nice range of motion there. But of course you can turn side to side no problem. Waist swivel. You can kick... Uh, well, you have to kind of pull the leg down a little bit because it's made to kind of fill in the gap. But if you pull it down a little bit, you can kick all the way forward, pretty far out to the side. Can't really go back at all because of the way the butt is molded. You have a thigh swivel there. I would say over 90 degrees, maybe like 120 there in the knee. And then you have a ball joint in the ankle. Get some ankle tilt off to the pretty far off to the side there. Not too much front to back, but you have a little bit. So yeah, really nice figure. Uh, stickers do take a while, but when you're done, it does look very, very nice. 
Now he's got these pieces here on the side for Magnum, just like the other release of Magnum. They're a little difficult to get out. But basically, if you can unpeg these, they just, they really sit down in this little channel here. There we go. You can pop this out and then turn it around and peg it back in. And then that way you can have the little guns there at the wrist. Now you can also do it for the legs, but what they do is they give you a separate piece. So I have one of them pegged into the side here, but unfortunately the other one uh, won't peg into the stand. It's just not the right size. And what you do is you just take off this entire shin piece and then pop this one on and it has the gun extended so then he can like kick out and shoot like that. Which is pretty cool. And then you can just take this one, pop it out, swivel it around, peg it back in the other way. So I think that's pretty cool. I mean, instead of having them on like a big hinge that would look kind of unsightly, just a very simple way to do that. But yeah, he came out really nice. And he does come with an open set of hands as well. And they all have a base here. You can see we have the sticker. You have a ball joint for the stand. You have spots to peg in extra hands. You have a little peg here if you want to just attach them with his foot instead of attaching to the base. And then you can also peg the bases into each other. So if you wanted to do something like lean this back and then have another uh, base peg on top. And then you could just have him attach here by the foot instead. So you have a lot of nice little options there. But I usually just peg it into the waist back here. But yeah, he came out great. Next up we have Nago Beat. And she looks great, but my goodness, she was a lot of stickers. There are a lot of stickers for Beat. Uh, all of the detail here on the shoulders, these two speaker pieces, the gold trim, this blue here, uh, this here all the way around the bicep. Uh, this is a sticker that wraps all the way around the forearm. This is a separate piece that has like four stickers on it. You have the bangles, the driver, the belt, this piece here around the midsection. And then obviously it's just entry form down here because she's only using one buckle. And the driver I think came out pretty good. Got the ID core there with the driver or with the beat buckle. And then the head, Nagus uh, stickers on the head are just crazy. All of the black you see here is stickers on a fully gold painted head. So she came out great. She does look good. But my goodness, she has got a lot of stickers. Uh, same articulation as everybody else. And I'll get into the swapping a little bit later on. We'll just take a look at each figure first. And then I'll start doing some swapping combos. But you can see she's got a set of open hands as well. She also comes with uh, these two pieces here for the wrist. So that when you want to give beat to somebody else who doesn't have the bangles, you can actually take these pieces off. And we'll get into that a little bit more in a moment. And then here is Naga with beat on the bottom. Which is pretty cool. Again, a ton of stickers. Really a lot of stickers. Uh, but she also comes with the beat axe. Which I think came out really good. So she comes with an extra hand that has this connection piece in it. You can see right there. And that will peg into the uh, guitar here, the beat axe. You can peg it in there, or you can peg it in on this side so that she can wield it as an axe. So you have two options there, which is pretty cool. Now, it's also got this connection here. If you have one of those pieces that pegs into the waist, then you could store it there on that piece. I just think that would look kind of ridiculous because it's so massive, but it is possible to do. So the beat axe, I think, came out pretty good. It's it's like two large stickers, kind of one for here, one for up here, and then one giant one for the back. Just be a little careful. Unfortunately, this area is hollow. When I was trying to push the sticker down, I did rip a hole in the sticker, so be a little careful with that. But I think it came out really good. Now, you might be asking yourself, why does she have blue eyes here? They give you a lot of different options for the stickers. And since I already have an entry form uh, Nago head from the previous set, I decided to give this one uh, blue eyes in case I wanted to use her with Monster. And I can show you how that looks later on when we do the swaps. I also did not put a core ID on this one because, again, I already have one with her core ID over on this side. 
and I thought I would just leave this one blank so when I use it with other characters, you know, it'll just be blank so it's not the wrong core ID. But yeah, she came out pretty good as well. Next up, we have Punk Jack Monster Form. I like this one a lot. This one's very bright and colorful. And again, he's got an open set of hands. They all come with open set of hands, so I'm going to stop pointing that out. But I think this one looks really good. Uh, pretty decently painted. The uh, gloves here are all painted yellow, and you just have these blue stickers to put on, which are really nice and easy to apply. The driver with the buckle looks fantastic. That came out really good. One big sticker here for the chest. The yellow trim here is one sticker. And then the star is one sticker, but it's actually not as hard to apply as you might think. You kind of just have to kind of put it on one side and then just kind of smooth it down as you go with all the creases. But I think they actually came out really good. And then these little yellow dots are stickers as well. But there is the helmet. And that looks good. He's also got a cape, which just pegs into that spot on the back where you would normally put Geet's scarf. And I believe this is fully painted orange. I think it's probably molded in black, if I had to guess. And then it's just fully painted, but it looks good. So I think he came out great. I really like the look of this one. Very colorful. And then they've given us uh, Punk Jack with uh, Monster on the bottom. My favorite part of this is that the gloves with the fists become like his feet. And they just look so blocky and silly. You can almost kind of see the fists down here too. They tried to put stickers in there. I know it's supposed to be like the foot, but it's kind of peeking through like where the fist would be. And the stickers on this actually were not too bad. And then I did the same thing here where I left the ID core off. So if someone wants to use Monster, I can use this driver with them. And then we have the entry form head here for Punk Jack. And then for the last one, uh, this is just an entry form body. They give you a uh, head and extra cape if you want to do it as Punk Jack. Now, again, since I already had an entry form Punk Jack head, I went and gave this one uh, red eyes. I feel like the reds for Beat and Magnum and Ninja are close enough that you just kind of pick one and then you can use this for multiple uh, different you know formations. So I decided to do that. I put those eyes on there. But they do give you an extra cape as well. So if you wanted to do this as entry form punk, punk Jack, all you'd have to do is switch the heads and add the cape. Uh, but I went ahead and got this head for Depan. These stickers I thought would be a lot harder to apply, but they're actually pretty nice. Again, you just kind of pick a spot, and then everything just kind of folds down and attaches nicely. Now I went ahead and gave him the Magnumize, because he used that very prominently uh, during his run. I want to get another set of these so I can also make an entry set of eyes, or an entry form head for Depan. But otherwise, he looks pretty good. And then I also left the ID core off this one just so I could switch it around a lot and use this for various people and not have it be wrong. But very minimal stickers here because it's really just wherever you see the gray. Like the belt, these little pieces on the driver, and then this little bit of gray here. This is paint here on the, on the thigh. But everything else is stickers there. But again, entry forms are very easy to do <laughs> because they're very minimal. And then again, same articulation as everybody else. So technically this is wrong because these eyes don't fit here, but I wanted to use this with Magnum. Now they also give you a polar bear head. For this character whose name I don't remember, I apologize. He was only in the show for a very, very brief time. But I gave him the entry form eyes. But I'd like to get a few more. They give you a lot of stickering options. They give you a sheet with all the options so you can pick. So the more heads I could get a hold of, the more options I could do. So I might try to get a few extra of, like, maybe this set. This comes with this set, which I don't necessarily need extra forms of monster bottoms, but... <laughs> monster bottoms. But uh, I would like to get more of this head. Although, technically, I guess I could just buy multiples of this, get the extra entry bodies, and just not put the black ears on, but you wouldn't get the blue jewel. So for the polar bear, you can see it's a little blue jewel here. For Japan, it's a green jewel. So if you bought extra of these, you could leave the stickers off here, but the jewel color would be incorrect. So it's kind of a bummer in that respect, but you can, you know, whatever works for you. But yeah, it's a great set. I'm really happy with how everything came out. I think this worked out really well. The only thing I'm kind of bummed about is they went to the trouble of giving us, you know, the top and the bottom form for each buckle. And then the whole next Soto ID set is the Fever Slot versions. So I'm going to have to do like all of these all over again. Because the only real difference is the driver 
because uh, it has the extra buckle attached and like you know the bangles are slightly different or he's got an extra cape it's just kind of like doing this all over again and it's kind of a bummer because it feels like the two sets are going to be very similar and we had both forms of ninja in the last set so it's kind of like doing that again i mean technically you could you know put these together and basically have the fever slot form the only difference would be the extra gold bits wouldn't be here and the driver would be wrong but otherwise it's it's the same thing i kind of wish they just gave us the extra driver pieces and the extra gold attachment pieces in like a box together so i didn't have to redo everything but it is what it is but let's go ahead we'll get into some combinations and, and switch arounds and see how everything can work in that regard all right, so we'll bring these in to do a couple of swaps. Now, obviously, this is Geet's Magnum Boost from Soto ID1. And I'll be using those pieces to kind of switch around and also have him try out some of these forms. So, obviously, the first thing we could very easily do is just take off the Depan head and pop this on. And now we would have the Polar Bear character in his entry form. So, that's a very easy switch to make. I don't think that was pegged in all the way. Doesn't see, there we go. That's better. But yeah, so that's that's a very simple one to do. Uh, on the same token, we could take the Punk Jack head from this form and bring this over here and peg that on and then give him the cape. And then you'd have Punk Jack's entry form. So that's another very simple one to do. I'm gonna take this off. And I guess for now, I'll just put this back on. We shouldn't need this guy anymore for the moment. And I'll put this back on here. It's kind of weird because this is so big and the way like this kind of sits underneath there, it's a little hard to peg it in, but it works. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, we had uh, Geats use Monster for. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an extra Geats head to put the blue uh, Geats. They do give you stickers for blue eyes for Geats, but I just don't have an extra head to put them on right now. But you would take this off, you would take this off, and then I'm just going to use this head temporarily because it's all that I have. Just imagine that these eyes are blue, and then that will just pop on there. And there you have Geats using Monster Form. Now, technically, I should switch out this driver as well, because this one has the core ID, and I'll take this one that doesn't have the core ID. And pop this on. Oh, technically, I also need to grab... Oops. This is a little difficult to get out sometimes, I have to admit. Just because there's not a great way to grab a hold of it. There we go. Let's give him his scarf. So there we go. Now we have Geats using monster form. I just wish I had a blue set of eyes. I have to get another head I can put the stickers on. But that's cool. Uh, by the same token, we can pop this off. Let me take her off the stand here. So if we pop the head off. And then we pop the Geats head on, it's nice because the Magnum eyes are close enough to the Beat eyes in color that it works. And then we have to take the scarf off again and pop this over here. There we go. And then what we have to do is take these pieces off. The whole wrist piece will unattach. And then you can take the hand out of that which it can be kind of a pain to do. And then we got these extra wrist pieces here with this form. So we can go ahead and pop these in. I think they go like this. And then pop the hand back in so that you don't have Nago's bangles. And just imagine I did that again over here on this side, but there we go. We have Geats using Beat. Oh, I have to change out the driver. Let me bring in the driver from the other one. And pop that on here. There we go. There's Geats using Beat. Looking pretty good. 
So I just think that's a really fun part of this line. You can really just mix and match all the pieces and have everything, um, you know, just make a lot of different forms, which I think is a lot of fun. Uh, by the same token, I could take that Nago head I made with the blue eyes and come pop that over here. And now we would have Nago using Monster, which looks really cool. So I think it's a lot of fun. Oh, we have to do Depan with Magnum, though. Hold on, let me do... I'll take this off of here. Take this off of this. Pop this on here. And then we did get a driver that has just Magnum. That was also included in the first ID set. So you can pop that on there. And then bring in our Depan head. And there we go. We have Depan using Magnum. Looking good, up to no good. So I think that's really fun. It's just the more you buy for this line, the more combinations you can make. And that's just really fun. You have a lot of mix and match possibilities. And they do try to give you as many extra pieces as they can. Extra stickers so you have all the different eye possibilities. There's just going to be times when I wish they would give us extra heads so I could have a head with every correct color eye. But at this point, I'll probably have to just buy multiples <laughs> of certain boxes. Plus, I feel like I need more entry form bodies because we have a lot of different rider heads that are just kind of thrown in as accessories. And you can't actually have them all next to each other at the same time, which I really want to do. But I'm liking it so far. I think this is really fun. We got a lot of good stuff in this box. I kind of wish that they didn't necessarily you know, give us both forms. They could have probably just given us the top for now, and then we could use the bottom when we get the fever slot version in the next box, but it is what it is. Still a lot of fun possibilities with this stuff. So this is a pretty great set. I'm very happy to get Nago and Punk Jack with their kind of signature buckles. I think that looks really great. I didn't necessarily need the same forms on the bottom, but it's nice to have them. And this one did come with the beat axe, which is really great. Now, of course, you can take that hand and swap it out over here if you want Nago in the top form to use the axe. Of course, that's possible. Um, Geet's uh, Fever Magnum looks pretty good. Uh, of course, we're going to be getting the rest of them in the next box. And then, of course, I was happy to get some more entry forms and get these extra heads for Depan and the Polar Bear guy, who I apologize names I don't remember here. Um, but yeah, always great to get more entry forms and more heads so we can get more riders in the Desire Grand Prix. So I probably, personally, would have just switched out these boxes, but that's just me. I don't really know what else they would have done, so I guess it makes sense to give them to us. And it does give you more mix and match possibilities, which is fun. Uh, now, of course, you won't have the drivers match up. Like, if I wanted to give Nago, you know, beat on the top and monster on the bottom, she wouldn't have a buckle uh, or a driver that has the two buckles on it. But you could still mix and match and have some fun like that. So a lot of different combinations of things you can do. It's just that the buckles on the driver might not always match up. But yeah, Soto continues to impress. Uh, really great articulation, really great uh, playability there. But the stickers are just nuts, especially for both forms of beat. By far the worst in terms of stickers. Uh, Monster form, honestly, not as bad as I expected. Those really weren't too bad. Magnum, I already kind of knew what I was getting into because we did it in the last one. And uh, obviously the entry forms are easy. So if you can get past the stickers, you really are left with some really nice looking figures that have great articulation and a lot of playability in terms of the different forms and things you can make by switching everything around. It's just getting past the stickers. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.